Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. So we switched roles today, I think. I oh know, Stephanie's in charge right now. I'm in charge right now, why? Because this guy himself up, boy. His neck said I literally am stiffer than stiff itself. So basically, he went to the gym. He was doing something for chest, I don't know what. I was doing bench press, you guys. And then when I was going up, to push it up, like I just felt something like, not snap, but like, I just felt something like right here. Like strain? Yeah, and I've done it before, and it's a neck strain. So I've had this neck strain before. So he's like. And it like. All stiff. Like I, I literally just told my trainer right then and there, I was like, oh, I'm gonna feel it later, like bad. And that's how I am right now. Like I literally can't. I can move it, but it's like very sensitive. So I'm like walking around. She's like, hey, look over there. I'm like, <laughs> huh? That's all bad. So, yeah. but last time I did go with my grandpa, one thing you guys don't know is that my grandpa does do like massages, but it's just like different massages. It's not like any other massage. He does like muscle and tendon. I don't know how to explain it. You guys are going to see a little bit. I don't know if he's going to want to be recorded too much. We're probably not going to record him, but he pretty much does miracles. You guys, I've heard so many stories about him having people that can't even walk. He massages them and like they can walk the next day. Every time he gives me a massage, I just get instantly better. So that's why I want to go over there right now. You guys are going to see right now what he's going to do, but he's going to make me cry. Like literally everybody that goes over there, a grown man, I don't care they cry <laughs> like legitly i've cried before that's all bad honestly my friends have gone there and they've cried a baby has gone there we can cried i think babies normally yeah, cry a cry lot in general but when whatever. they don't know what the hell's going on we're gonna need some good insurance you guys because i'm still under 26 so i'm still under my mom's insurance because she has really good insurance you know what i'm saying so why pay extra and there's literally something always happening to me huh baby literally something always happens to him i swear it could be like kidney stones like muscle strain strep throat throwing up He's, he's always Gonorrhea. Like, like there's always something going on with you like every month. AIDS. Huh? What? Huh? That's never happened. I know. Ever. No, I'm just kidding guys. Why do I look stiffer than Stiff Legler? That's a guy? No, I don't know. I just made that up. I bet you guys anything in like an hour or two, Stephanie's gonna be like, you know what? My neck feels sore too. <laughs> Why would I say something Oh, because like you always want to be like me. Who Why would I be like Whose you? shirt are you wearing right now? You want to tell them? This is a brand new shirt and you bought it like two months ago. And who shirt? Oh, it. so it's my shirt. Yeah, it's your shirt. But Literally, it's Stephanie mine. just bought like 10 new shirts. And but where it's are mine they? now because you don't even wear it. Oh, okay. Well, besito and you can have. Chula. Okay, come on, let's go. Because the Laker game starts in an hour. I don't care. We're still going out. We're not going to watch that game. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So Stephanie is driving right now. You know what I'm saying? We switch roles because if I'm going to have to look left, and right, right away, it is not gonna work out. And even with Stephanie like stepping on the gas and like going like this, like it hurts my neck. Look at Stephanie over there being a freaking crosswalk lady with her bright ass shirt. Ha! <laughs> oh, we chubby sees. I'd rather be a crosswalk lady than a twisted neck man. No, oh, I mean, you got a point there, ma'am. <laughs> you like driving my car though, or what? Yeah, it's fine. Is it? Hey! Love that shit for me. Look how little she looks though, guys. She looks hella little in my car. Hella close to the thing. I know, she's like hella close to it. I feel more safe in this car because it's like big and bulky and fast. Mine is like... It's, it's just a gas saver. Yeah, just a gas saver and like the windows aren't even tinted. It'd be too hot in there. I mean, my AC works better than this one though. Yeah, for sure. for sure her AC works better. Well, I've been telling myself and Stephanie that we need to get our windows tinted, but ever since we got the car, we just literally... That hasn't been a priority, like we haven't done it. And uh, also, I feel like lately I've had like a couple of problems with my car. Yeah. And I just don't, like, I feel like I'm gonna end up getting a new car like soon, you know? Yeah. So I feel like it won't even be worth getting the freaking tinted windows. Cause I've been, I've been without tinted windows for like three freaking four years. So I'm chilling, I don't really care, but. Yeah, tinted window does help because it makes the car like. Less hot. And less then, like, hot, you know, people can't stare at you. People can't see me when I'm freaking a big old burger. I know we're eating every two hours. This is what happens when I try being on la dieta. This is what happens. That's why I, I don't be on dieta. You know what I'm saying? This is why I don't exercise. Team stretch marks all the way, guys. What's up? Stretch marks. <laughs> no, guys. Loki, I still have my stretch marks, you guys, and I've been like trying to see ways to kind of get rid of them and stuff like that. You can't get rid of stretch marks. But I think they say if you um if you like tan. But you they won't get rid of it. It'll make it look less there. Or what? Yeah, it's there's no way of getting rid of stretch marks. There's literally no way. Well, damn it, guys. I I think I think there's probably like this procedure thing where they like fill it in with something. I have uh -huh. no idea. I think I've seen it. I'm not sure, but I just feel like I don't know. There's no point. Stretch marks are normal. Yeah. And like 
you what else be, can you do? Yeah, you gotta be proud of them. But I literally have them all on the side of my stomach, like right here, like some right here, some right here. And then, of course, like on my butt, because you know what I'm saying? BBL, what's up, fam? Ooh, this turn. Oh, shit, this shit hurts. So, we just made it to my grandma and grandpa's house right now. Ready to cry. I'm probably not gonna cry, because you know what I'm saying? I'm a man. Is he outside? Where? Is that him? Oh no, that's just a plant. I couldn't turn my neck all the way. Ya llegamos. Ya llegamos a los pinches Don's house. Ya llegamos al, do al doctor. Al pinche doctor house. Al Don doctor. Don doctor. <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. Oh, ¿Cómo está abuelita? Yo bien, yo bien. ¿Y ustedes cómo Bien, aquí pues está adolorado. Abuelito, ¿cómo oh, está? Mira, cada dedo es un, es un músculo que va para arriba. Cada dedo es uno. Cada dedo es uno. Cada dedo es uno. Arriba. El nervio de la pata. Este de aquí, mira. Este es igual al cerebro. Y yo cuando traes el dolor en la cintura, traes el dolor donde quiera que lo traiga, te sigo ese nervio grande y te, te hago preguntas. Si te duele ese nervio grande, te lo sigo y, y donde lo encuentre, ahí está. That's pretty much what he's saying, that there's nerves right here on all these fingers. Cada nervio es un dedo. Cada yeah, nervio es un dedo. Yeah, they're, they're different nerves. So like when you move your fingers, mm -hmm. there's like nerves. And then they go all, se va hasta arriba, ¿verdad, abuelito? Yeah, that goes all the way up here. It's like the, it's all connected. But that's what he's saying. When it's something in the neck or like shoulder or anything like that, he starts. He always massages right here. But when it's something in the back, he always massages right here or like anywhere right here. He starts right here on these muscles, the calf or like right here. So that's what he's gonna do right now. A verdad que va a masajar? Aquí le va a masajar. Yo voy a chequear todo. ¿Me va a hacer llorar o no? No. So it's that type of video, you know what I'm saying? I had to take the shirt off. If I wanted to see my six pack abs, ah, you met Olito, me duele. That's what hurts. Ah, it's super nervous, grande la mano. Uh huh. Que te voy a sobar. He says that the nerves right there. That's what he's gonna mm -hmm. massage. And he's using like um these like Mexican. What do you call them? Pomadas. ¿Cómo se llama? Arnica, no? ¿Cómo se llama ese? A ver cómo se mira. Yeah, this is what my grandpa uses, you guys, and it helps. So if you guys want to try it out, well, my shirt's off, you guys. This is as low as the camera is gonna go. Tengo muchos músculos, abuelito. Ándale. So he said he found it. He said he found the nerve that, that was out of place. Ah, it's right there. Yeah, I feel it, Grandpa. I feel it. Do you see nerves right here? Popping out or what? It looks like a bola. Oh. It looks like a bola right here. And everybody always asks where I get my curly hair from because my dad does not have curly hair, but my grandpa's literally the one with curly hair, you guys. So that's where I got my curly hair from. It was kind of like, huh, I low key look like my grandpa. But pretty much, he did fix up the nerve. Like, it feels a lot more looser. The medicine's supposed to be helping. Yeah. Putting a hot towel is going to help as well. So, that the warm towel kind of just yeah. helps to take out the coldness from my yeah. body from this part here. I don't know if I'm saying it right in English, like translating it correctly. I don't know, you guys. It might look a little weird what he did and what you guys saw, but. It just works, you guys. And that's why I was saying that he's very religious because he says that people are always asking him like, where did you learn? Where did you learn how to do this? And he's saying that God gave him that special ability. Like he didn't learn from nothing, but he just automatically like knew how to do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's saying. If God gave him something to do, then he's gonna fix people up. And that's what he does. He's done a lot of like athletes. He's done a lot of people and stuff like that. He's helped them out and I've seen it before. Like even people that can't, like I told you guys that can't walk, or nothing like that, like, he just makes some more. No, si se siente mas calentito. So that is that, you guys. My grandpa and my grandma take care of me. They take care of the whole family, so very grateful for that. Thankfully that they're still there. I think they're like 85, 84. You think so? I think they're 85, 84. They're around there, but they're like really healthy. My grandpa loves to walk and stuff like that. Have you ever gotten massaged by my grandpa? Or no? No. You never have? No. You think you'd do it or no? I don't know, I think I would correct. You think you'd cry? Yeah, but honestly, you guys, like, instantly I feel better. Like, I can move around my neck. But once this medicine kind of, like, sinks in, and then I need to go home and put a warmer towel because uh, this one did get kind of cold. But, yeah, I need to put, like, a really warm towel and just keep myself really warm. And he just said that I can't shower at all today. Hopefully, I am really good because, yeah, we're going to be going to Miami very soon. And I don't want to be with a broken neck. Cava Bay. For real? How are you going to get on anything or do anything? Yeah, I literally won't enjoy it that well. We'll sleep right. We're finally back home and right now I am heating up a towel inside of the microwave because the one that he had is already kind of cooling down. 
So I want to get a different one and he's gonna chill and then he's gonna watch like the Laker game or whatever I literally just hung out with my mom this morning. We went to Bravo Farms. We ate a salad. We had a sandwich It was a vibe, but I don't know if I should like text her and be like hey You want to go to like Target or like get like an ice cream or something? But then again, like I have no reason to go to Target, you know, like, you know, you just Sometimes you just go to Target and you're just like, okay, what do I need? And then you're just like, wait, I don't need anything. You end up buying like so many random ass things that you literally don't need, but you just want, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of don't want to go to Target for that reason because we just went to Target the other day and we spent a little bit. So. I kind of do want to go out and get some food just because like I don't feel like cooking. I feel like we just hella cleaned the house and like... I don't know. I don't know if Jesus told you guys about this stuff right here, but we ended up buying this thing at Lowe's and it's like a little spray thing. It's for insects. It looks like it kills over 500 pests. So as you guys know, we don't really care for little insects like spiders and all that random. Ooh, is that a freaking Niño de la Tierra? <laughs> Oh, hell no, girl. That's so scary. I used to see those all the time. But yeah, we bought this thing because we don't want any insects around the house or outside of the house. And the guy at Lowe's was super cool because he did tell us a lot of information on this thing and how we can keep it from not hurting Malachi, the wonderful, beautiful man right there. As you guys can see, he's such a chulo man. Did you know that you're Buñito Maui? The guy at Lowe's was telling us that this was a better option. Something about to not put it in areas that like Malachi would lick it because I think it could harm him. So we're not gonna put it like in the backyard and we kind of just put it like in some areas. We went behind the stove, we cleaned up there, we went behind the refrigerator, we put some there and then we mostly put it inside of the, the garden area in front of the house because that's where we kept seeing snails and black widows, frogs, which also a little update about the frogs. The guy at Lowe said that for frogs, there's kind of really nothing you can do about it. He basically said that if you have a lot of like moisture and like water going on like around your house. That's what's causing them to come because they're basically water freaking based. Like they just love being in the moisture. So he basically told us that we could buy mouse traps, but it honestly won't be the prettiest thing to clean up after because they're just gonna be like hella squished. So there's just too many things about frogs that I have no idea about. And Jesus is honestly the only one that's like really freaked out about them. I like, I do freak out about them just like a little bit, but I don't care for them as much, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know. Jesus is just gonna have to live with it. I'm probably just gonna have to be the, you know, person who like checks it out first and then he can go outside because that's what he'd be doing sometimes. And um, your girl is brave. <laughs> Why I burned. <laughs> so we also bought this stuff here. This is a carpet cleaning machine formula. So it's basically like the soap to wash our carpets because as you guys know, in our last video, we did clean the whole entire house. Everything is spotless, beautiful, and clean. So we do want to actually clean the carpet and like wash them because, you know, we love a little clean house vibe and everything to smell good, especially with pets. Um, they just tend to be very, you know, sucio sometimes. Like as you guys can see from his little patitas, he likes to come inside sometimes and he's sucio man. What are you doing in here? Chill in, why? I had the towel over there. I don't know if you wanted it. Why did I bring it? It's already burnt. Oh, really? Yeah. It got hella burnt. It got burnt. You guys watching the freaking game on here? The playoffs, baby. I could watch it on the TV, but I just decided to watch it on here because it's like more peaceful. So I'm back in the car. Looks like I have hella chicken grease on my face, but it's fine. It's really hot, actually. Hey, Susan's gonna actually stay home and watch the game while I go pick us up some Panda Express because he was really craving some teriyaki chicken. And honestly, I think I'm gonna end up getting something in there too. I was thinking about getting something else, probably like del taco or like taco bell uh, i feel like i don't really want to do that like i don't have the energy to go out like that right now so let's go get some panda and live our best life you guys that was like too much to do it was hot in there it's too many people they said because they didn't have the white rice jesus really wanted some white rice but i had to get the fried one so not sharks i feel like we have to like yell in there but they still like can't hear because they have their mask and then it's really loud because they're cooking and then they have like the plastic thing and then we also have our masks. 
this point, I need to learn sign language because, oh, hell no. Nah. I don't know why, but I'm craving like a, a shake or something. Like I kind of want to go to Sonic and get like a shake. I probably will, honestly, but then I won't have an appetite to eat my food. Like I'm just going to want to eat the dessert right away. So if anything, like I might get the dessert later, most likely not because I know I shouldn't. So if anything, that's a good sign. Let me just show you guys what I got. Jesus originally wanted white rice with teriyaki chicken, but I ended up getting him the fried rice with the teriyaki chicken. I guess they didn't have any white rice, which was weird. I was like, okay, like, you know, hi. And then I ended up getting some honey sesame chicken, the chow mein, and then sweet and fiery chicken. I hope I got all of that correct, but this shit looks busting. Like, I'm so excited to eat all this. Honestly, I'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing, but that chow mein calling my name. You see this chicken right here? Calling my name. This bell pepper right here is calling my Mm. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So update you guys, my neck still freaking hurts. Honestly, hopefully, like, I just feel better. I have been taking some Aleve, I believe it is. Yeah, Aleve. Because my mom said that it helps with, like, muscle strains and stuff like that. That shit hasn't worked. <laughs> it honestly hasn't worked, mom. No, nah, just kidding. Nah, I do feel a little bit better from the massage and stuff like that. Maybe I just need to sleep it off. Or in the morning, it's probably gonna be really, really sore. Who knows, you guys. But like I told you guys in the recent video, if it's not something every month, it's not an original Jesus month. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of you guys did say that kidney stones are a lot worse than pregnancy. Some of you mothers said that. So that was pretty good to find out because I was kind of curious. You know what I'm saying? I made Stephanie go to the store because I wanted her to get some salt you guys because there's still frogs outside the house and i hate frogs you guys know that for some reason like i'm like really disgusted of frogs and i will not go outside if i see frogs so you know what i'm you know saying that's freaking sad right because frogs are literally like they like to eat like flies and mosquitoes oh we'll take care of them you know what i'm saying like we got stuff for them like, I don't know, like, yeah, so we got different types of salts, you guys, we're going to war. And as well as, I don't think they're frogs, I think they're toads, you guys, because they are like, uh, blackish, brownish. I'm just scared for Malachi, mostly, because the other day, I heard him barking outside the house, and he doesn't really bark that much, unless, like, there's something going on. He just started barking, I went out there, and I just see a fat-ass toad. And I think toads, don't toads, like, throw stuff at you? Like that's her defense. It throws like something white. That's what my mom said. That's what my mom and grandma said that they throw something in defense. I might be wrong, but still, like they might be like poisonous or like I might eat it. He might get sicky. How am I okay? So that's why I don't like them. And then as well as they're all over our freaking front yard. And I did put like a whole thing of salt all over the front yard and I haven't seen him for two, three days. So we're gonna try to keep it that way. He's like, no dad. And Malachi doesn't like salt either guys because he tried, he smelled it and then he just went away from it, so. We're not going to really put too much in the backyard, but... All those in the Laker game, you guys, I'm pretty sad because they lost the series. I'm saying they're going to get a little bit of rest, but... There was a lot of injuries going on and stuff like that. No, they lost, so they're not going to play no more until... I think, like, in, like, three months or something like that. But they're going to come back stronger, you guys. Hopefully with all this, like, COVID stuff and all this kind of stuff. Injuries and I don't know. It's just a big mess, you guys, but we'll be back next year. Yeah, so Stephanie went out, and then I stayed to watch the Laker game, and as well as to keep applying some warm towels on my neck... That shit didn't work either, so it is what it is. But that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. This was like such a like last minute video just because the injury did happen. We had another video planned, so we'll probably do it for the next video. Yeah, it just happened and I wanted to take you guys with me because I did cry a little bit like that. It, it hurt, you know what I'm saying? I did Yeah, but... just a little bit. Really? Yeah, well like like internally, you know what I'm saying? Like no, no tears came out, but like I was crying inside. <laughs> so it was pretty bad, you guys, but I got through it. Pray for me in the comments down below, you guys. I'm gonna read all your comments. Me and Stephanie do read your comments. I'm so make sure to comment down below. Right now. Are you? Yup. But before we end today's video, we do have to do a post notification shout out, which is going to who me, baby? Life. Shout out to you. Whoever else would like a post notification shout out, all I have to do is subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell, and then comment when done. But without further ado, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.